Good day everyone, I'll be the first reporter about the biological sex, page, page 64 to 67. So we have the learning outcomes, we have to describe the beginning of the biological sex during the time of fertilization, second we have to explain the, the, the process of sexual development that occurs during the prenatal stage and during a puberty stage. And we have to discuss the abnormalities that can occur in the sexual development. First, before we begin, what is the bio biological sex? Biological sex means the physical condition of being male or female, which is stated on a person's birth certificate. So in biological sex, we only have two sex identity, which is the male and female. So let's begin with the beginning of our biological sex. Our biological sex begins with the sex chromosomes that we inherit from our parents during the time of fertilization. That is the fusion of the sex cells of our parents. So our, bio our biological sex begins with the sex chromosomes that we inherit from our parents during the time of fertilization. When you say fertilizations it is when the sperm swim up through the vagina and fertilize an egg in the fallopian tube so that so that's the time of the fusion of our parents sex cell so the mother's egg cells carry an X chromosome where the father the father's sperm cells split into two half. The other half has X chromosomes, while the other half has two has a Y chromosomes. So if the sperm cell with an X chromosome fertilize the X cell first, then the resulting is X plus X pair is equal to and XX pairs chromosomes so it produces a girl because in female we have XX chromosomes however if the one with a Y chromosomes and first maka fertilize the X cells then it will produce a male because Y plus X chromosomes is equal to a male because male has the X and Y chromosomes so Well, the earliest event that happened in our lives so all of those scenarios that happen in our lives when when we are yet a zygote so when you say zygote it is a the result of the fusion of our parents sperm and egg cells so let's proceed to the uh the sexual development of prenatal stage so what is a uh, sexual development prenatal stage? It is the male and female sexual organ organs develop from neutral embryonic structures. When you say neutral embryonic structure, the develop it is the development of fetus sex which has a potential to develop a male or female organs. So first we have the gonads. At six weeks after fertilization, regardless of gender, all embryos have identically primordial gonads. Primordial meaning existing of the beginning. So in, in gonad stage of, pre, of a sexual development prenatal stage, it is the period during which indifferent gonads development into either ovaries or test test so what is gonads gonad is the primary reproductive organs which is kung sa lalaki natay test test and kung sa babae natay ovaries gonads is our reproductive organs so di siya nag start og develop so we have the second we have the internal organs until about the third month in a prenatal development, both embryos possess the same reproductive ducts, including so, including the male Wolfian system and the female Wolfian system. So, what is uh, uh, internal organs? Uh, internal organs, mo mga 
mga organs that is inside of our body which are the heart, liver, lungs, brain, eyes, stomach, kidneys, and many more. Kung sa female, it includes the female reproductive system like the ovary, vagina, the civic, or, and the fallopian tube, and so on. Kung sa lalaki, we have the the reproductive system also the testicle the urethra penis and vas deferens the bladder and and many more so let's not dig into the reproductive system so let's focus on the uh, topic so the internal org organs development in, in in sexual development prenatal stage dira siya naga start og og tubo ang ihang mga ang naga, nagabuo ang mga brain, eye, stomach, and, and many more. So, let's proceed sa external organs. At 6 weeks after fertilization, the external or, uh, external reproductive organs again, at 6 weeks after fertilization, the external reproductive organs for both male and females begin to differentiate from initially to the same four parts. So we have the glands, the urethra, urethra folds, the lateral bodies, and the labicrostal swelling. So na diri naga start o develop. When you say external organs, we have the hands, ears, legs, nose, and many more. That includes the glands. Sa glands na atay do which is the endocrine and the exocrine endocrine glands release hormones into a bloodstream the endocrine lets the hormones travel to cells in other part of the body so endocrine this includes the pancreas kidneys thyroid gland and also the testes kung sa male and ovaries kung sa female tapos ang exocrine gland is the example of that like Exocrine glands release the, the substance through openings sa atong body surface. Like sa mata, we have tears. So tears is the exocrine. Mouth, we have the saliva. And skin, we have the sweat. And stomach, we have, we have the enzyme. And breast, we have the milk. And many more. And also includes our literal body, atong Atong kamot, atong ilong, atong legs, and so on. So, we have the, lastly, we have the puberty stage. As children transition into a adulthood, they pass the puberty stage that is characterized by adolescence growth. So, in a puberty stage, this is the time in life when a boy or a girl becomes asexually mature. It usually happens between the age of 10 and 14. Para sa babae, dira sila mag-start o mamukol or dugoon and magkaroon o hairy sa underarm. And we also start magtubo ang mga pubic hair. And... and and 12 and 16, para sa mga lalaki, mag-start o karoon o mustache, uh, magkaroon o Adam's apple, mo, uh, mo change ang voice, mo dako o mo tangkad. So, that is the puberty stage. Also, the following uh, topic will be continued by Justin Ray. Thank you.